Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we are going to take up one very interesting question from system of equations. We have root x plus root y equal to 3 and 8x over y root y plus 8y over x root x equal to 33. x, y both values are real numbers. Now I will consider our substitution straight away. I will write root x equal to a or x will be equal to a square and root y equal to b. So we can write y will be equal to b square. Let's apply our substitution to our system. So I can write our equation 1, this first one root x plus root y. So I can write a plus b equal to 3. Now second equation, once I will divide by 8, it would be 33 over 8. Now in place of x, I can write a square over y root y, b times b square, so b cube plus y, so b square over x root x, a cube right hand side 33 over 8. After taking LCM, I can write our second equation as a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33 over 8 times a cube b cube. This is our equation number 2. So we have to solve this system instead of radical system of equation. Let's solve. So I will consider here a plus b equal to 3. And I will consider cubing both sides. So I can write here a plus b whole cube equal to 3 cube. So a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b equal to 3 cube is 27. Now a plus b is 3. So I can write 3 here. So a cube plus b cube plus 9ab equal to 27. Or I can write a cube plus b cube. This will be equal to 27 minus 9ab. So this result we will use directly. Now our second equation was, this was first equation a plus b equal to 3. Now I will write our second equation also and then I will use binomial expansion. So let me write here expansion of a plus b whole power 5. So I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5ab in bracket a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square in bracket a plus b. Now our known equations let me write once a plus b equal to 3. Second equation a power 5 plus b power 5. This was equal to 33 over 8 a cube b cube. And third equation a cube plus b cube value. This was equal to, I will write after taking 3 common. So 3 times in bracket 9 minus 3 ab. It was 27 minus 9ab. Once we will take 3 common, it will be in bracket 9 minus 3ab. Let's apply. So here I will be writing 3 power 5. This value is 33 over 8 a cube b cube plus 5ab and a cube plus b cube. It is 3 times 9 minus 3ab. Then we have 10 a square b square and a plus b is 3. Let's simplify. So I can write 3 power 5 equal to 
थर्टी थ्री ओवर एट ए क्यूब बी क्यूब प्लस फिफ्टीन ए बी एन ब्रैकेट नाइन माइनस थ्री ए बी प्लस थर्टी ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर नाउ वी कैन डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाय थ्री लेट्स डिवाइड थ्री पार फोर विल बी लेफ्ट This will be eleven by eight, and let us consider a b equal to t. So I will write here: let a b equal to t. So eleven by eight t q plus this will be five t in bracket nine minus three t, and then after dividing by three, it would be ten. T square. Now I will multiply this equation by eight, or let me write this equation once. Three power four equal to eleven by eight T Q plus five T in bracket nine minus three T plus ten times T square. Now let's multiply by eight. So three power four is eighty one times eight equal to eleven t q plus. I will write forty t nine minus three t, and then I will write eighty t square. Now I will multiply, so it will become six four eight. Equal to eleven t cube. Then I will be writing forty times nine, so it would be three sixty t. Then this will be one twenty t square plus eighty t square. So finally six four eight equal to eleven t cube. This will give us minus forty t square. And then we have plus three sixty t, or I can write our cubic equation eleven t cube minus forty t square plus three sixty t minus six hundred and forty eight equal to zero. This is one cubic equation. Let me write here. Eleven t cube minus forty t square plus three sixty t, and then we have minus six forty eight equal to zero. Now I will use rational root theorem. So I need to know the eligible factors of constant term six four eight. So it would be plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three. Plus minus four and so on. Leading coefficient plus minus one and plus minus eleven. If I will plug in over here t equal to one, will it satisfy? Eleven minus forty plus three sixty minus six forty eight. No, it won't. Let us plug in t equal to two. So eleven times eight, eighty eight. Minus forty times four, so I will write one sixty. Then three sixty times two, it would be plus seven twenty minus six four eight. So if I will add positive numbers, it will become eight zero eight positive sign, and negative sign, it is same magnitude. So I will write yes, it is true. that means t equal to 2 is our base solution for the cubic equation now i will use synthetic division method to find out remaining two roots so i will write all the coefficients of cubic equation 11 minus 40 plus 360 minus 648 leading coefficient i will write as it is 11 Two times eleven, twenty-two. So this will become minus eighteen. 
2 times minus 18 minus 36 so this will give us 324 2 times 324 648 0 so we can write our quadratic equation from the coefficients 11 t square minus 18 t plus 324 equal to 0 now i will use quadratic formula so let us apply directly or i will check discriminant only so i can write here b square minus 4ac let us verify discriminant first so b square it would be 18 square minus 4 times 1 times 324 4 times 11 times 324 so this will become 324 minus 44 times 324 so you can see it is negative number i can write here complex solutions will be there so we can reject easily so i will write rejected so which solution we are going to accept it is t equal to 2 now t was our substitution so a b equal to 2 now i will write our first equation it was a plus b equal to 3 let's solve this system so i can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b then this is sum of roots this is product of roots so i can frame one quadratic equation in a itself it would be a square minus sum of roots times a plus product of roots so i can write our quadratic equation a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0 so if i will write our factors then it will become a minus 1 times a minus 2 equal to 0 so a will be equal to 1 a will be equal to 2 now b now i can use our equation 1 a plus b equal to 3 so b will be equal to 3 minus a so i can write b will be equal to 3 minus a equal to for 1 3 minus 1 for 2 a equal to 2 i will write 3 minus 2 so b will be equal to 2 and 1 so let me write a comma b it would be 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 here it is now now the value of x and y so our substitution was this was our a and b so i can write x is equal to a square y is equal to b square so i can write here x comma y will be equal to a square comma b square so i can write our final answer 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so 1 comma 4 and 2 square is 4 1 square is 1 so this will be our final answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck Take care of yourself. Goodbye.